And there's the Bulgarian side that Haristo Stoichkov, their most famous ever player, has chosen. And the one big name that will be a huge relief to all their fans who's in the side is Dimitar Berbatov up front. Hasn't played competitively since the start of September. He's had real problems with the groin injury. They might be taking a chance, but they've decided clearly they need him in the side for a big game like this. There is the Dutch side. Dirk Count of Liverpool leading the line. Support from two other players who play their trade in the Premiership. Robin van Persie at the Arsenal. Arjen Robin at Chelsea. It's a strong side. But the Dutch haven't been overly convincing so far, especially in their first game where they beat Luxembourg just by one goal to nil. Check with both his officials. It will be very interesting to see how this pitch stands up to all the rain we've had. It looks like a, an excellent playing surface. But time will tell if the rain keeps on falling. 25 is Lucio Wagner, the Brazilian-born player who is now a naturalised Bulgarian. They've given the ball away, though. Already you can see there is some surface water here in Sofia, where it's been raining for most of the day. Berbatov penalised for tugging back on... Oh, backing into Andre Uye. Yeah, it looked like there was a hand on the shoulder from the Dutchman. Referee of Raybo saw it the other way, and here's some space for Lanza. And now Robin van Persie onto the left foot, and this is going to be an awkward evening for goalkeepers with the wet, greasy ball zipping off the sodden turf. Van Persie gave uh, Ivankov an early test. It was a relatively routine take, and the goalkeeper got everything behind it. This is Angelo. Certainly the game has started at a breakneck pace. Ball was intended for Berbatov but didn't reach it. Robin van Persie, who scored an absolute wonder goal for Arsenal at Charlton Athletic last weekend. Oh, and Robin, who's been in and out of the Chelsea team this year, more out than in. There's Christo Stoichkov, 83 caps he won, the best player in Bulgaria's history, without question. Helped them get to the World Cup semi-finals in 1994. And there's no flag here against Jovov. And he just took the ball out of play. Pity. Well, there wasn't much in that. The only thing you could say was that the assistant official was about as close as he possibly could have been. His dirt count for Denny Lanza. And now Gia van Bronckhorst, who's got licence to get forward down the left-hand side, the Barcelona man, towards Count, who stretched and just couldn't make it. And might have done himself some harm in the process, clutching that left ankle, the Liverpool man. It looked innocuous, but sometimes the worst kind of injuries do. Gia van Bronckhorst, the first time we've seen him raiding down that left flank, Terrific delivery, and Count, I think he took all his weight on that ankle, and that would have hurt. Almost seemed to slide from underneath him. And that would be a huge blow to the Dutch if Dirk Count can't continue. Wagner, looking to get to Berbatov on his way. This is Petrov, or Wagner again. Right by number five, Ilyev, who missed the last game. Bulgaria, easy winners over Slovenia in their last match, three goals to nil. Before that, they uh, got a 2-2 draw in Romania, a good draw, they were two down in that game. Two late goals as uh, Bulgaria gift the Dutch a throw here. Two late goals, two in the last eight minutes, got them a draw. And they followed that up with victory against Slovenia, so they lie second in Group G behind the Dutch. 
who, as I mentioned earlier, won unconvincingly 1-0 in Luxembourg, and then 3-0 uh, with an altogether better performance against Belarus in their second match. Kishishev. Just wonder whether Dirk Kalt is going to be OK. Well, he's back on, he got a touch there, and he didn't seem to be overly inconvenienced by it. Saw Ryan Babel there warming up. And also got Jan Venegor of Hesselink on the bench as well. Danny Lanza. You can see the problems the players are having. Just trying to stand up in this uh, weather. Arjen Robben. Another corner to the Dutch. There's a perception that Robin plays better for his national team than he does for his club. Jonas Matisse and Ford, who has scored in this campaign, got the winner in Luxembourg, his first international goal. Kishishev guarding the near post, and Berbatov with the header away and back with interest, but way too high. And Fankov not called on to make the save. Robin van Persie, who does score spectacular strikes. I mentioned the one at Charlton, he got one for the Dutch in the World Cup from a free kick. That's the Ivory Coast, that was. Timotar Berbatov there, whose goal-scoring record for Bulgaria is so exceptional. 50 games and 31 goals for the Spurs, man. He's such a pivotal figure for them. And passing that late fitness test was a real fillet. Here's Wagner. Just forgot to take the ball with him for a moment. And the referee said it stayed in play. Crowd didn't like it. 37,000 Bulgarians objected. Here's Robin van Persie. Well, good work by initially Stylian Petrov and then Valentin Ilyev, but still the Dutch have it, and that stung the goalkeeper's hands, and he nearly let it slip through his grasp. Said it was going to be a night which would test the keepers. And that's the way it's proving. Really struck that with some force. Wesley Schneider. And it could have been an embarrassing moment for Ivankov. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bulgaria have got themselves a free kick. <laughs> Two of the great legends of the game in the respective dugouts tonight. Christo Stoichkov I've mentioned, of course, Marco van Basten, the Dutch coach. Never actually met in competition as players. They would have done in the Champions League final. 12 years ago, Barcelona Milan, but Van Basten was injured. Now Petrov will take the free kick for Bulgaria. And he has a reputation from this range. Got some fizz in the shot, and Van der Sar had to hold on. First save that Edwin Van der Sar has had to make 10 minutes into the game. He might have seen that late as well. A couple of players ran right across his line of vision. Petrov with an excellent connection. And that's very safe goalkeeping from the Manchester United man. Berbatov, nice touch. Trying to play now, Bulgaria. They've got a man over this side. It's Petrov, he can find him. And they scored! They didn't pick the man up. And a really good finish from Martin Petrov. And Bulgaria have the lead. And they're singing in the rain in Sofia. And there'll be a huge inquest from Holland as to how Van der Sar's goal was so unprotected. He just ran and ran. No semblance of a challenge, really. And he was able to take it in range and drill it past Van der Sar. No one went to it. And by the time Andre Uye realised it was way too late. And Martin Petrov has beaten Van der Sar at his near post. And Bulgaria have a shot lead here. The goal scorer is going to take the free kick. And if he can get the delivery right from this angle, he's got such a terrific left foot. He's very tough to defend. There goes Petrov then, and Van der Sar, unorthodox. I think he knew what he was doing. But clearly the conditions had a big say in how he dealt with that ball. He usually would have caught it. But he's gone across with a double-fisted punch just to get it out. 
That was really well hit by Petro. And just at the moment, it's all Bulgaria, and the Dutch have to make a change. Dirk Count can't continue. And Ryan Babel, very exciting player, is on for him. Meanwhile, here's the corner, hit too deep. Reasonable header down, though, by uh, Iliev. And the follow-up shot was deflected, but Van der Sar will save the corner. Not going for the Dutch at the moment. A goal down, they've lost Dirk Kautz. I don't think they're enjoying the conditions at all. Well, that stat may be a little misleading. They might have had more of the ball, but they've had a lot of it in areas that haven't threatened the Bulgarians directly. Dion. Chip forward. And Van Persie deflected, and it came off the bar. It might still come for Ryan Babel, that's out. And that's a real let-off for Bulgaria. Just a hopeful through ball, really. But when Robin latched onto it, Van Persie, rather, was missed by the defender, and Van Persie's shot took a deflection off the defender's thigh and back off the bar. Wait for the medical bulletin on to count. It does not look good. Well, he won't mind being wet at the moment. Stoichkov, the cider in front. Holland had a free kick there. Robert. Oh, he's continuing to slip and slide, and it's come back here for the Dutch. Goalkeeper made a meal of it. It wasn't a difficult save. Is Vankov a little lucky? And uh, his side have managed to clear their lines, but for how much longer? Boularus. Babel will pick this up. Close by Angelov. He's got past Angelov, or he had. And he's got the cross here. It should be 1 1. The shot was blocked. And again, Bulgaria escaped. <laughs> Dangerous spell this for Bulgaria. Can they keep the Dutch out? Schneider. Nigel de Jong. Bulgaria won't mind that. This hit pass just to relieve a little bit of the tension. They have been under the cosh for the last five minutes. Schneider's shot. Then it was deflected, but really, it was straight at Ivankov. Surely could have held on. I know the conditions are wet, but here's Robert. Well, he's a dangerous man if you let him run at you like that. There was no sting in the shot, but next time they give him that much space, there very well might be. Just had a clear run through. We played for exactly half an hour here. And Holland, the big favourites to win Group G, find themselves behind to Bulgaria. Bulgaria's record in the uh, last European qualifying campaign was excellent. They topped their group, five wins and two draws from eight games. And they were unbeaten at home throughout the campaign. Which will give the Dutch a little food for thought here. Saw so Van Persie clearly pushed down on his man. Now on Gargarov. Rabatov got a good flick on that. Stylian Petrov, marshalled by Uye. Wagner. All the way back. A little disappointing, that. And a reasonable opportunity when uh, Berbatov flicked it on. It's going right back to the goalkeeper. Still looking pensive, Marco Van Basten. Here's Babel. Taken off him easily in the end by uh, Kishishev. Oh, 
that, that time was from Yovov. Nearly got Berbatov clear. Ilyev. Space on this near side for Wagner. Needs no encouragement to get forward. That's a loose pass right between Petrov and Dimitar Berbatov. De Jong. Leslie Schneider. Boularus, Ian Robert, and Percy. They went together the long way round, now he's put it back on the left foot. But in the end, the cross was successfully blocked, and look at the pitch, getting worse by the minute in terms of the amount of surface water. And no wonder with the amount of rain that's hammering down in Sofia. Nice dummy, nearly worked. Yankov away. Ilyev. Petrov. Berbatov. Can Petrov get to it? He can't because there's good cover there from Matisse. Berbatov. Oh, into trouble. And he's told to get up by the Norwegian official. Made wide by Schneider. Ryan Babble the substitute. Schneider again. Oh, fancy his luck here. Good strike. Straight down the throne to Dini Charlie Bankov. Oh, the goalkeeper calm one away a moment ago that time he made a good save comfortable catch Berbatov complaining that uh, he was being lent on there by Uye before he saw nothing wrong Forward by Matisse, now Babel. Robin Van Persie, good cross and well gathered again by Van Kopp. And what is really a horrible night for goalkeeping. He did well again. So exactly ten minutes to play then in the first half here. And Garia, I get the impression, need to keep the lead to the interval. They have been living dangerously of late. Yankov all the way back to his goalkeeper. It seems to me they've become a little more cautious since they scored the goal, but uh, very dangerous ploy to try and hang on to a lead, especially when the conditions are as poor as they are tonight. Filthy evening in Sofia. This cute clearance by Yankov, who was uh, not necessarily a guaranteeing inclusion in the side Georgi Petkov played in the first match with Vankov in the last one because Petkov was injured but he's kept the shirt Petkov is the substitute keeper this evening Nigel de Jong Van Bronckhorst lining up the strike I think they've been ordered here by Van Basten with the conditions as they are shoot on side of Ivankov's goal Got the power. And always rising. Way over in that cross bar. <laughs> Bad 
Babel. Van Bronckhorst made the ball his. And that will be a corner to the Dutch. Had several. Haven't really been able to test Bulgaria with one yet. Certainly no shortage of orange shirts in the box. Boris Matisson. Amongst those who've come up this time, Nigel de Jong. Robin on the goal line. All about the delivery. It wasn't the best, and Berbatov got it away. Still plenty of bodies in the box, and in the end, the goalkeeper in trouble and palms it onto the woodwork. How embarrassing would that have been for Ivankov? That's twice now. But the Dutch have been denied by the frame of the goal. They are living on their nerves. And the crowd know it. Free kick to Holland. But Dimitar Ivankov, just look at this. Berbatov's the original header, and when it was knocked back in, I'm not sure anyone got a touch. It did zip up off the turf. In the end, it was probably a decent save. Look at that bounce. That was a good fingertip by the keeper. It looks so innocuous first time. Arjen Robin. Shot come cross. Bulgaria are just hanging on. Still seven minutes to negotiate until half time. Robin so dangerous with either foot. Really teasing little ball in, wasn't it? And where the goalkeeper was positioned attempting the shot, or trying to second guess it wouldn't be a shot. He would have been beaten, I think, if that had uh, been down for the far corner. Babel has won it back for Holland. And still. Still got it. De Jong has got it wide to Robin van Persen. Faced by Ilya. Poor delivery. After a very promising move. Don okay since he's come on, Ryan Babel. Another who came through the world renowned youth setup at Ajax. Just need to get a little bit of possession going the Bulgarians have not had much of it of late and Bronkhorst header out Bulgarians will get the throw Second favourite there. And the ball chipped through the middle, but it would be Edwin van der Sar has just spun off the turf before Petrov could get to it. I beg your pardon, it was actually Christo Jovov chasing that. Good to see him getting forward from midfield. Van Bronckhorst. Babel. Again, the knock and run past Angelov. Certainly no foul. Maybe a counter from Bulgaria. Martin Petrov. And the ball was rather telegraphed back to him by Jovov, and in the end, a very simple interception. Holland throw on the halfway line. Certainly can't criticise the Bulgarians' effort. They have been everywhere in the first half, non-stop running, tirelessly chasing. Just wonder if that might catch up with them in the second half, especially on such a wet pitch that really saps the energy. They haven't played it very effectively here either. Nigel de Jong. It's a better ball than Percy. He's got Babel available, two waiting in the middle. Can Babel find the right delivery? He might. Oh, didn't miss by much. Robin Van Persie. What a lovely connection with the side of his foot. It fizzed just over the top of Ivankov's bar. 
good try from the Arsenal man. But still no breakthrough for the Dutch. Very impressive record for Stoichkov since he took over in the summer of 2004. Took over at almost exactly the same time, by the way, as Marco van Basten at Holland. Got a lot in common, those two. Two of the greatest players of the modern era. And Bulgaria has got rather well, stolen it. And the shot way off target, no deflection on it. William Petrov, who gets a fair share of goals from midfield. The young it was who gave the ball away, and he was mighty relieved to see that the Bulgarians hadn't taken advantage of his generosity. Here's Gio van Bronckhorst. Is Matisse inside the last two minutes of normal time now in the first half. Probably will be a bit to add on. There was that injury to uh, Pout early doors. And Percy, and that will be a free kick. And he is really dangerous from this kind of range. There's no shortage of uh, Dutchman who can strike it actually. If it's not Van Percy, it might be Schneider or De Jong or even Arjen Robin. Powers by Emil Gargarov. And this could be very, very dangerous. Schneider, Van Persie and Robin are the free kick committee for Holland. Schneider looks favourite. Or Van Persie, one or t'other. Pays your money, takes your choice, and Ivankov needs to get a view. to get his wall set up right now this now they've changed position this is all part of the plan you know it might be van Persie. it is to schneider driven low good save he's done really well to hang on there ivankov because i reckon he may well have seen that late fiercely hit by schneider through a crowd of players goalkeeper's done really well to hold on or virtually hold on at the first attempt Might have had three or four efforts now from distance in this first period. Here's Babel. Going into trouble. Lankov. Got a free kick for that. Stay down for a few seconds, take the maximum out of sight. We desperately need to get into the dressing room at 1 0 up. And if Holland are going to get back into it before the break, they'll have to do it now in stoppage time. Just one minute to add on. This is Ilya. Couldn't get it forward would be Stoichkov's advice. It wasn't the best ball, though. Both players slipping and sliding everywhere. Matisse. Wide by Dion to Arjen Robin. All the way back to Van der Sar with, what, 20 odd seconds remaining. Bulgarians won't mind that. They battled and hammered and they got the boost of that early goal. And uh, Marco van Basten will have plenty to do during the interval. The minute of stoppage time has been played. And that is half time. And there could be a real shock on the cards at a sodden Sofia, where the goal from Martin Petrov, 12 minutes in, has given Bulgaria the advantage. They hit the woodwork twice, the Dutch, but so far, no way through. Babel had to come on to replace the injured count, and it's not gone well for Marco van Basten's men. Half-time, Bulgaria 1, Holland 0. To Sofia. If you've just joined us, we have appalling weather conditions and we also have a shock scoreline.
It is the Dutch who get us away in the second period. Playing catch up after that 12th minute Martin Petrov goal brought the stadium to life. And they needed something to cheer them because it is absolutely miserable weather wise. Rain continues to help down. It has to be said that the Bulgarian goal has lived something of a charmed life in the first half. Woodwork struck on three separate occasions. And still, the Dutch can't break through. Van Bronckhorst chips it forward. They've got the little flick on towards Babel. Must be an equaliser. No, flag is up. Not going to count. And the flag was up well before the ball finished in the back of the net. And if that's offside, it's very, very tight. But that isn't. Clear offside decision, the second flick. Just about sums up the night for Holland so far. Nothing going for them at all. Andre Ouyet whacks it forward. That record is under threat. Berbatov waiting in the middle. He was the only one waiting, and this wasn't much support. Maybe now there will be Yavholt. He's done well to keep it in. And the cross wasn't the best. And Bronkhorst with the header clear. Rescued by Jovov. And he's run it out. You wonder what Van Basten said to his players at half time. They weren't doing a lot wrong in truth. So much pressure, so many chances, and nothing to show for it. Came off uh, first player's knee, <laughs> the eventual shot was from Jovov, and it went almost through a puddle and virtually stopped at the feet of van der Sar. Good header by Ilyev, who's made a, an excellent return to the side tonight. Robert. Percy's flick didn't reach Babel. It wasn't the best defensive header. It wasn't the best clearance either. Rather fortunate. They found a white shirt with it. That will be a free kick there. Michael De Jong helping Jankov to his feet. Bulgaria has failed to take advantage of the set play. Taken off the toe of Ryan Babel, but the Dutch have got it back. Robbins chip. Petra off on the charge for Bulgaria. Haven't always had enough forward in support, especially from midfield tonight, Bulgaria. Babel wanting the shot then, in towards Berbatov. Berbatov again, still a bit tight. This is Yankov. A bad effort. In the Hanover man. Only 22. Have Yankov. Certainly kept Van der Sar on his toes. He was almost off balance as he hit it. So can Bulgaria make the corner count? 
Martin Petrov will take it. And he's been cautioned for time wasted, and that's absolutely right. Good decision by Tom Henning of Rebert. Only played five minutes or a little over in the second half. Already Bulgaria want to stop the clock or keep it running when nothing's happening all to the point. Here goes Petro. Wasn't really worth waiting for in the end, was it? Berbatov. Kalkiski. See how much possession Holland are having. But it's no good unless you turn it into goals. And we've played for an hour now in Sofia. And still the Dutch can't break through. And still they trail to Martin Petrov's 12th minute strike. It'd be all change at the top of Group G if it stayed like this. Bulgaria would go on to seven points. And they edge the Dutch by one. Romania also on four points. They play Belarus today. Slovenia versus Luxembourg is the other game in this group. Wide by Lanza. Iron Robert. Wagner to take off. Sensible ball back. Free header for Van Persie. And it finally has gone in. Thought for a minute it was going to come back off the woodwork again. And Robin Van Persie scores for Holland. And it's no more than they deserve. Not sure if Ivankov got a touch to it. And finally, the visiting fans have got something to cheer. Robin did well to set the ball up. And Van Persie's header in off the upright. So we're all tied up here at one apiece. Robin Van Persie's sixth goal for Holland. It's only his 18th cap. Goal scorer coming off, Martin Petrov. That's something of a surprise. Unless he's got a knock. The young. It's clever. And that was a little too clever by Van Persie. He finishes it wonderfully well, but he was a judge to have just tugged back his man. Therefore, he was in a perfect position to spot it. And Percy doesn't like it, but the whistle had long gone before he tucked it away. Well, from the replay, you'd have to say, if anything, he was the one being held. Maybe a tad unfortunate for the Van Persie. With his uh, goals record. Second top scorer now in this side. Ryan Robin has eight goals in his uh, international career. And here is Robin. Good ball in, Van Persie, tight angle. Good defending there. On a given. And now you suspect the Bulgarians will really start to struggle. It's absolutely hammering it down with rain. The pitch is sodden. They've been running their hearts out all evening. And with nearly 65 minutes gone, they're bound to be feeling it. There's the corner. Decent header away by Ilya. Headed back into the mix by De Jong. All sorts of bodies in there. And Bulgaria still can't clear their lines effectively. Schneider. Not the best ball in. Almost a case of anywhere will do for Bulgaria at the moment. Dutch throw. Babel. They got past two defenders and there was a third on the scene. That's a bit risky. Playing that kind of fancy football in that area, they'll get away with it because of the foul by Schneider. I don't imagine that uh, Christo Stoichkov will be too enamoured 
with defenders trying to play themselves out of trouble in these conditions. Matisse for Van Bronckhorst. Now De Jong, who was not among the uh, World Cup party. Oh, and that's been very nearly gifted to Holland. It might still work for Babel. Really bad defending, still a chance. Babel shots. Goalkeeper had to get down at the expense of a corner. Kamikaze defending from Bulgaria. And the Dutch were almost lining up to shoot. In the end, it was Babel strike that tested Ivankov. Nice little touch from Schneider. And that was going to sneak in the corner. Off the line from the corner. I'm not sure it was going in. Schneider. Good try. Unorthodox goalkeeping, but it worked. And the ball will stay in play. They are peppering Ivankov's goal. And this will be a free kick to the Bulgarians. <laughs> 20 minutes to go in Sofia plus stoppage time. Wagner will play in the free kick. Berbatov will jump. It seems that the Dutch are first to every loose ball at the moment. Headed down was by Schneider. Robin van Persie. Robert. And once again, Ivankov gets everything behind it. This is what happened at the corner. Cleared off the line by Kishishet. Babel. Schneider ran into trouble. Babel again, seeing a lot of the ball at the moment. The Ajax winger, and that's a classic example of how he was beaten by the conditions. Been a perfect pass normally, but it just held up on the rain-soaked surface. And now Bulgaria have given it away, and they can't afford to do that. Holland were generous to give it back, actually. Boularoos with the misplaced pass. Should be the goalkeepers. Well, Van Persie has gone down holding his face. Gargarov is the Bulgarian defender. The suggestion was there was an elbow. Well, he's, he made contact, but it, it certainly wasn't intentional. As he didn't really know where Van Persie was. It's a nice little ball through. Well, I didn't see it again. Having said that, the fall by Van Persie was theatrical. I'm not sure whether the, goal, the referee's given a free kick here or not. Marco Van Basten taking the opportunity to have words with Nigel de Jong. I'm sure the referee didn't... Yeah, well, it's, it's a nice handshake at the end of it. No free kick, and in the end, the Dutch give it back. One of those difficult ones. Make the case both ways.
on the line by Schneider. Trying to get Babel into the game yet again. Schneider ran into trouble. Good ball, Van Persie. Onto the right foot, no power. He knows he's capable of so much better, just didn't strike that with any real conviction. And that's the record that Bulgaria are defending here tonight. Under Stoichkov, they've made themselves hard to beat. If you're wondering, by the way, why there's no Mark van Bommel or Ruud van Nistelrooy in the Bulgarian lineup, we'll come back to that in a moment. Here's Tuchilski. Headed down, and they're back for a slip. Might have been half a chance there for Bozino. Instead, it's Holland who have poached possession. And there are holes appearing at the back now for Bulgaria. They're trying to get men there in numbers. Schneider to Babel, who's got all the time in the world to measure his cross, and that'll go harmlessly out for the goal kick. Just going back to the... Van Bommel, Van Nistelrooy scenario, neither in the squad. Van Bommel has been in contact with the Dutch Football Association and said that he will not play under the current Marco van Basten regime. There's clearly tension there. As far as Van Nistelrooy is concerned, he has spoken to Van Basten. And the quote that came out from the, uh, the Dutch authorities was that there's insufficient confidence on both sides remember that Nistler was dropped during the uh, World Cup campaign which didn't impress him too much and uh, Van Bommel also sparingly used now here come Bulgaria again not for the first time problems with the weather but unlucky there Valerie Bozinov Twice he's got into the box in a threatening position, and twice he's gone down because of the slippery surface. <laughs> Layoff is by Nigel de Jong. Van Bronckhorst. Good play by the substitute, Telkiski. Looks uh, pretty good since he came on. Here's Kishishet. Look at Wagner streaking down that left hand side. Only Berbatov waiting. And it wasn't going to reach it. Wagner again, though. He'll get a throw for that, I think. Good defensive work from Yoris Matissen. It has not stopped raining all day in Sofia. Pitch has done well to stand up as well as it has, actually. Despite the fact that we do have some surface water, it might be far worse than it's proved. Robert. Got past two, but not past Wagner, who's been superb tonight for Bulgaria. No foul, says the referee, and I think that was a good decision. Trying to get Babel in, and they have done, and it's Babel for the Dutch. And put behind, I think, by Ilyev, and in the nick of time. Either Ilyev or Angelov. Angelov, in fact. Ilyev had come across and couldn't get to it. Here's the corner. Another one about to... Be delivered, and the pressure stays on Bulgaria with 12 minutes left. Matisse is up, scored from a corner against Luxembourg on the first day, and that was an acrobatic effort from uh, Andre Uye. He doesn't score too often. A couple of goals, and he's nearing 30 caps now. Blackburn Rovers 
Nothing uh, moved from Ajax. Stoichkov has seen something he doesn't like. The Dutch got it in them to find a winner. Bulgaria, in truth, have hardly threatened. Matisse. Going down a blind alley there. Added on by the substitute, Telkiski. Keep it Holland. Dimitar Berbatov hasn't really been able to get into the game. He's not had a great deal of support, to be fair to him. Just can't thrive if you don't get the service as a striker. Here's Joris Matissen. Yeah, loose ball by the Dutch. Forward by Kishishev. And Kiski couldn't take it in his stride. Bula roots to Babel. He's got past Wagner. Still Babel. Robin. Dangerous ball. Goalkeeper had a defender right in front of him. And a good block on the follow up shot from Schneider. There's clearly no communication between goalkeeper and defender there. That should be a Bulgarian throw. Kelkiski. Kishishev. Not a bad ball, that from the Charlton man. This is uh, Boyanov. Should be fresh enough, he's one of the substitutes. That came off the defender, corner. Out of absolutely nothing, Bulgaria will take that. I don't think Gio van Bronckhorst knew who was behind him. And he may also have slightly misjudged the flight of the ball. Either way, he's given away the corner. Which Kelkiski will take. We had a great save, van der Sar. Terrific start from the keeper, because that was travelling. Kishishev back in. There's no offside here. Driven low across the face of goal, and now it's Holland who are defending desperately, or at least they were. Meanwhile, there could be a break here for Robert, and Babel could be in the goalkeeper's there, and he will clear the danger. What a save by Van der Sar. Absolutely stunning. Because you can bet your bottom dollar, most of the fans thought that was in. Still Holland press. Robin van Persie, the goal scorer. It's a really good ball for Babel. Deflected, corner. Well, here's the chance that Bulgaria had. Great header and a terrific so I think it was Ilyev rather than Berbatov who they're showing there, but either way it was a top draw save by Edwin van der Sar. Into the last five minutes of the game. Holland have a corner. And there's all sorts of pushing and shoving in that. Shouldn't really let that go, the referee. Maybe he didn't see it. Got to give both teams a lot of credit for producing a game of this quality under these conditions. Ian Robert. That's got half a challenge in there, Kishishev. And he made Robert have to go the long way round. Babel. Still pass and move, the Dutch. They never stop playing their football. Marco van Basten has instilled it in them. It's a, well, a tradition anyway. 
Although things were going wrong under Advoca. Kept in by Robert. And that will be another corner to Holland. Can Bulgaria survive this onslaught? They have to stay strong, they have to stay focused for Bulgarians. Matissen and De Jong are waiting for Schneider's delivery. Came off a white head. That wasn't the best of control, actually, by the substitute. Bring it off, the chance to clear and have a run at Holland there, rather than just knock it upfield. Wagner's pass just about found its target. Nice turn by Telkiski. Will this stay in play? It has done. Boyanov. Kalkiski. Boyanov again, that's really disappointing. Berbatov was screaming for the ball on the edge of the six-yard box, and it was a disappointing cross. Had so few opportunities, the Bulgarians. They really need to make their deliveries count when they do get into a threatening position. Kishishev is the last man back for Bulgaria. Schneider's been one of Holland's best players tonight, no question. Been everywhere. Shots on goal. And he's teed up his colleagues on plenty of occasions. No foul by Babel on Wagner. Okay, they've got it back. Can they play the right ball this time? This is Berbatov. Almost beseeching his teammates to come and give him some support. Now well, we're going to get some late drama in Sofia. It's not the best ball, it almost held up and they were lucky to get it back. Petro. They drilled low and Van der Sar, I think, knew it was going wide. Bonyanov's shot. Didn't quite strike it as he would have wanted. In the end, it wasn't that far away, Van Bronckhorst, who allowed, who allowed him to get the strike on goal in. See how much the pitch is cutting up. So we're into the final minute. There'll be plenty of stoppage time of, of that, I'm sure. We've had substitutions, goal celebrations, and a lot of time wasting by Bulgaria. That's an awful ball. They can't relax yet, they're not safe yet. The Dutch still want to win the game. And they still have every chance, so it'll be fascinating to see what that fourth official holds up. Stoichkov knows we're playing the final minute of normal time. But there has been so much time-wasting by Bulgaria through the second half, and usually these days, that's spotted by the fourth official. Matisse. Well, only Berbatov is up and everyone else of Bulgaria is back, just making a, a couple of lines trying to defend. No foul that time. Wagner's kept it in. Three minutes of stoppage time. I'm a bit surprised at that. <coughs> Thought there might be more. Berbatov. <laughs> Berbatov again. That's a really disappointing pass. He's put his team under pressure. They actually had committed a few players forward for the first time in ages. Robert. Got two to take on, but he's been taking on players all night. And still Ian Robert. Deflected dangerously into the area. It needs a decent clearing header, and it hasn't got one. Boy of Bulgaria's night, here's Babel. They're almost inviting him to shoot. Not his best. Skewed off the outside of Ryan Babel's boot. The Bulgarians have safely negotiated the first of the three minutes of stoppage time. Especially Schneider is coming off. And Stin Shars is on number 15.
Смяна в отбора на Холанди на място номер 10 Уесли Снайдер в игра с номер 15 Стин Старс. Substitution Holland National Team. Out number 15 Снайдер. In number 15 Стин Старс. It's been announced by the uh, stadium PA. There's no flag here. And that was a very, very important header because Berbatov, just for a moment, it looked like he might be in on goal. There's Wagner. Took forward for him again. He's going off the chest of Boyanov. Now Wagner. Thought about the shot, Crad encouraged him, he went for the cross instead, and the header wasn't very far away. And Fadasar was furious. Boyanov again, who sneaked in. Wagner's cross. And it could have been a dramatic winning goal for Bulgaria. Is that the last chance? 20 seconds to go here in Sofia. Ironically, Bulgaria have actually looked more dangerous in the last few minutes than they did in the last few minutes of injury time than they did in the second half as a whole, and they were very disappointing. Stoichkov has given the ball back. The three minutes of stoppage time have been played. There might be a bit more to add on because of that substitution. I only think that's what's causing the referee to delay. And that is full time. Thoroughly entertaining contest, and two great legends, Stoichkov and Van Basten, congratulate each other at the finish. Robin Van Persie, whose goal brought the Dutch back into it in the second half, no more than they deserved. Boyanov, who missed a late header that would have given the Bulgarian...